I bought a tiny little black bookcase. Let's check it out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this. It's the Hit 23D Mop Black. Look, it's 16 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 36 inches tall. It's basically three cubes that stand three feet tall. You can use this as a little bookcase. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. It's going to be a really small footprint. You can also probably use it as like a nightstand or an end table. And I just wanted to add a little more storage, add a little bit more sorting. Because you can put little cloth drawers in here, that's kind of nice to hide things away. But for me, I like actually having things visible so I can actually get through them. So let's just take a look at this and put it together and see what we think. Now, I don't know that you'll need these instructions, but they are there. Assembly tools required, not supplied. It looks like hammers, Phillips head, screwdriver, some of those things. So as you might expect, we're gonna take the sides first and they are the four and the five. You can see they have a little sticker on here and there's this little channel. So I think you're gonna put the back piece in there and this one also has a little channel, so you're gonna just line those up. And now we are going to actually take the little feet and pound them with a hammer into the bottoms. You can see right on the bottom there, so that will give them little feet to stand on. Now we're gonna start with this side, the four, and we are going to put in the top, the two middle and the bottoms. Now the top is a number one, and I saw it right on there, number one. So that's gonna go up here. Make sure the channel in the back of the top piece lines up with that channel in the back of the number four. And you're going to use these screws here to screw them in the back. Now the two boards in the middle are the twos, two, two. And then the bottom one here is the three. So that's gonna go on the bottom and you can see you're gonna want that channel to line up with that channel right back there too. Now, I'll be honest, I wish these screws were Phillips heads but they're Allen keys and it does come with the Allen key, but you're gonna have to do these manually, which kind of stinks, but eh, works out your fingers. All right, this is what it looks like so far. And you can see those little tracks, those little cuts are all in the back, right? And so now you're gonna take these sixes. They're just the flat black boards here. And that black side is going to go out, right? Because you're going to see that. And all you're going to do is drop these into the little tracks right here and all three of them all the way down. And then we're going to put on that five, that last piece on this side. So let's get to it. Okay, I finished assembling it and I want to give you some final thoughts. First of all, it does come with hardware, some wires and some screws to attach it to the wall. You don't want it falling over, kind of like any bookcase or wardrobe or dresser. Uh, I think a lot of people forget that. They just kind of set them against the wall. But if you're going to put anything of any weight on it, you just want to make sure it's anchored. Kids can pull down on it. Maybe it's unstable. Maybe it's on carpet. So you do get all that. Now, um, as I put this together, I do want to show you that these screws aren't really countersunk. So they do stick up there a little bit. So if you're trying to push this against something else, maybe you have some other bookcases kind of like this, you know, that you want it to be flush up against, it's probably not going to happen unless you're gonna countersink these, drill little holes. So you do have those on both sides here. The other thing about this is the quality is okay. For a cheap $30 bookcase, you know, it's kind of what you expect. It's just that fiberboard, press board type of material. It's not even glorified plywood, just, you know, it'll crumble, that kind of thing. So it's not all that sturdy, but it does have this like black laminate on it. So it looks nice. It's got a little bit of a modern look. And as you can see here, you know, it went together reasonably well. It's maybe a step down from Ikea stuff, which isn't saying a lot, but I think overall it just looks pretty good. It's three feet tall and it's going to give you a pretty good amount of storage. So that's pretty nice. Now, the other thing I will say here is because you have to use the Allen key to put it together, I brought my power tool up because I thought that was going to make it easier, but it won't work unless you have an Allen key bit, no go on power tools. So you are going to have to be doing this by hand. So if you do pick it up, just kind of keep that in mind if you have issues with your hand or expect to use power tools. So, hey, if you want to pick this up, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.